Hello guys, welcome to my channel again. So this dish turned out good, so I'll be sharing it to you with just this big chocolate block. I'll be giving you Filipino merienda or breakfast champorado. I think this would be in a tight competition with goto or arroz caldo when it comes to Filipino breakfast or merienda. But I guess the younger ones will choose Champorado and the seasoned ones will choose Lugao. But definitely, I'll be sharing with you now my version of Champorado. In this recipe, I used half a cup of glutinous rye and half a cup of plain rye, which yielded um, 5 to 8 servings. So I'm adding a small can of coconut milk, which is almost more than half a cup. And I found it enough for the amount of rice I used. So aside from the coconut milk, this recipe made me use three and a half cups of water. But please use only two cups at the beginning and then just add the remaining water gradually as needed and keep stirring until it brings to a boil because if not your rice will stick at the bottom of your pot and you won't like burnt rice on your champorado when it boils you add your peanut butter and then don't worry I'll be giving you the exact measurement in my recipe at the end of the video if you notice the rice is getting sticky so I need to stir more and I just love the smell of coconut milk and peanut butter together it's so savory it's so hearty for me anyway just keep stirring until the peanut butter melted this is what I was talking about. The rice needs more water as it cooks, so I added more. I was really fishing for cocoa to add here, but then Frugal Me says it's so expensive for the child of this recipe. So I just got this cooking block, which is dark chocolate. Yeah, it didn't fail me. So I just added more and more blocks of chocolate until I achieved that chocolatey color that I want for this dish. Next time, I'm going to try the Cadbury dark chocolate for cooking and we'll see if it tastes better. I was actually torn between not adding sugar or adding sugar because I remember that when you buy this on streets, you just need to add sugar at home, but then the latter one. So I added brown sugar so that I just scoop it and then ready to eat, just add milk on top. But make sure not to make it too sweet for others. So before um, turning off the heat, I check the sweetness and then I check the flavor of the peanut butter and coconut milk and then the third one is of course the color if I'm happy with the color then it's good and lastly is the consistency and I think this is fine for me and then if you're happy with the consistency and texture of your champorado that's it, you may turn up the heat. I do really hope that you like the version of my champorado. And I just use powdered milk here, um, but still you can use evaporated milk or fresh milk. And feel free to add sugar if you think that this is not that sweet for you.
see you again in my next video. Please give this a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram at Kaka, and please subscribe. Thank you.